means they use too much land, they use too much water and they eat too much food and that's one of the reasons why the world's poor have to go without. Just look at America, the amount of soya and wheat they feed to their cattle alone would feed the entire populations of India and China. Yeah, but at least we're okay in Britain. <laughs> in Britain, 90% of our farmland is used to grow feed for farm animals and we still need lots more. We have to import huge amounts of food from the third world, countries where children are dying from starvation. 12 million die every year. Why do they sell us the food if they need it themselves? Because they're desperate for money, to pay off the debts to rich Western nations like Britain and America and to buy products like oil. That's why they're growing so much animal feed. But I don't understand. Why so much animal food? Because it takes 10 kilograms of vegetable protein to produce one kilogram of animal protein. You just think, if everybody ate a meat-based diet, the kind that a lot of people in America and Britain eat today, you couldn't even feed half of the world's population. And yet if everybody became a vegetarian, you could feed the whole world and more. And this is why. An area of land the size of five football pitches will grow enough meat to feed two people, maize to feed ten people, wheat to feed 24 people, or soya to feed 61 people. So animals eat most of the world's food, and that's one reason why there are people starving. Mm. I love my chilli, and my burgers, and my sausages, and my pies, and all of that sort of stuff. But you can have all of that on a veggie diet. I'd like you to meet somebody. Hello, I'm Leslie. I love food and I love being vegetarian. It's one of the healthiest diets there is and it's so easy to be veggie these days. There are so many wonderful foods from around the world using a wide range of amazing vegetables, fruits and other plant foods and even good old-fashioned roasts and grills. And if you're short of time or feeling lazy, Every supermarket in the country now has a range of chilled or frozen ready meals. And many of them look and taste pretty much like meat, if that's what you want, except they're made from soya or wheat protein. Pies and pasties, bangers and burgers, pasta and pizza, even bacon and bolognese. To be in top health, you should eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables a day. For ideas on what to cook, go to the Viva website and click on recipes. Ideally, you need to eat three or four portions of cereals and grains a day, such as wholemeal pasta, brown rice, oats and wholemeal bread. Another important food group is pulses, all kinds of peas, beans and lentils, as well as nuts and seeds. You need two or three portions from this group. And don't forget oil. Your body needs some good oil, such as unprocessed olive oil. And flaxseed oil is important too because of its omega-3. Most people don't get anywhere near enough of this essential fatty acid. If you're vegan and don't have any milk or dairy products, you must ensure that you eat some foods that contain vitamin B12. There are plenty. Lots of breakfast cereals, soya milk, margarine and yeast extracts such as Marmite. Just check the labels. Stick to these few tips and you'll be as healthy as can be. So get cooking! So what do you reckon, Nicky? Well, as Pythagoras once said. He was a veggie. Mm, OK, I understand. Uh, he was one too. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, Captain Crook. Mm.